Durrington Dave, who passed away on Monday. Um, prolific metal detectorist. Uh, he was on YouTube and he, uh, his, I think his last comment on one of my videos was uh, about a month or so ago. I, I don't know he's ill, but um, very, very sad news. So uh, if you pop on to his last video and uh, um, you know, pop a, pop a uh, note of um, condolence on there, but that'd be nice for our respective family. Um, I think Steve, uh, Steve was sorting out. Anyway, <clears throat> that sad news over. Um, bit of bit of excitement really. Behind me is a field that I didn't know was on my permission. This permission, I only found out last time I was here. Ooh, it's got an old path and all sorts. So I'll stop babbling on and uh, we'll get in there and see what's uh, what comes up, shall we? Yeah. Catch you on the first. It's going to be amazing. I know it is. Is it? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Ooh, I found something good. I have, I think it's good anyway. I'll let you decide, although I don't care because I think it's good. <laughs> I always do listen to you though. Oh, it's a bugger to dig out because I'm on a track and it's compact soil, compacted soil, I don't know. I'll shut up and show you. It's right good. Out of that hole there, you can see how compact this earth is still, obviously. Uh, getting that. Look at that. <clears throat> Loving that. Absolutely. I'm a member of something now. There you go. Farming for the something. Oh, so let me give it a quick clean and I'll get back to you. Now I bet you read it before I put my readers on to have a read. But uh, that is Farming for the Disabled Association member. That is brilliant. I think that's fantastic. And my, I think my favourite find to date. Sadly, the, uh, the pin's broke, which is why it's in the ground, I'd imagine. But yes, awesome find. That is great. That's a good start on this old path. I don't know where, I don't know how old this is. It's, oh, it's 80s maybe, something like that. I don't know. It's lovely though, I like that. Yay! Anyway, moving on. Well, a ring pull at two, uh, two inch down, that is not what it is. I don't know. Modern 2P probably, as you can see. Oh, oh no. It's an old 10P. Look at that. From, oh, I don't know. One second. Well, there you go. That is 10 new pence, the old big ones, from 1969. Look at the lion roll up. How cool is that? Big old 10 pence. Hey. Hello, Mom. Anyway, oh, I like that. Ah, badging a coin to start. That's not bad, is it? Moving on. More round in the hole. But it was a bugger to get to because I'm on this path and it's compact. And I've scratched it a bit. Boo. That's showing you anyway. <laughs> Can you see it? It's not very big. There it is. Ooh. I don't know what it is actually. Let me just have a little clean up and I'll show you. It's got some weight to it. I already see a head. Ooh, interesting. Well, what I have in my hand is, oh, wrong side, can't see. There you go, uh, where is he? Oh, there's, ah. There is a George the First uh, farthing, a flared farthing, whatever they call it, 70, I think it's 1720, that. So possibly, I think, I think 1720, yeah. Beauty. Look at that. Hey. This is a good field. I feel it's good. <laughs> Smashing. Anyway, moving on along this path to more special finds. <laughs> oh, I am loving this path. Look at that. 
Oh, what is it? I don't know yet. Let's reveal it together. Old Tempe, old Penny. Hmm. That's heavy. Good God. Ooh. I don't know. That's big. You can see what's coming out of that. I'll have to give that a little scrub up. It's a bit dirty. Give me a sec. <laughs> well, there you go. What a beauty. Hello, George the Third. Um, there she is. Here's Britannia having a sit down. Look, I cannot get a date off that. What is it? 1760s, 1820. That looks very regal there with his big schnoz. Feel for him. Yeah, George the Third. Um, I think it's a penny, but ooh, I don't know. Is it one of those? Cartwheel half, cartwheel apennies, because it's massive, thick as. Look at that. I don't know. It rang up a cracker. That won't go away in a hurry. Yeah, George the Third, coin, penny or cartwheel half penny. I'm not quite sure on them cartwheel half pennies, but there you go. I'll stop rambling and get on to it next. Oh, -ho! moving on. As George. Doo -doo -doo. Well, that one popped out rather nicely. There you go. It's a, uh, I'd say it's a 303 fired blank cartridge. Oh, I don't know, it might not be. Give me a sec. My mistake, got all excited and carried away. It's a 1989 um, SA80 round. I believe 556 five, blank. There you go. Hey. Oh, can't, can't focus. Oh, there you go. You can see. Yeah, RG. It's a bit of brass for me, brass tin. Moving on. Well, the next signal, which was ringing up as a five cents on the old 250. Um, Steady signal is da -da -da, da -da -da -da, a, a new 2P, a more modern 2P, spendable in fact. One second, yep, there you go, 10 new pence, spendable from 1992. Good year for Carter albums, that, especially the Love album, 1992. Oh, what a time! Yeah, look at that, another lion. Rawr. And the Queen. Um, moving on. Yep, next signal. Poking out the sidewall. Like another. 556 five, blank. I believe it is. Ah, there you go. Bit more brass for the bin. Moving on. The next interesting find of the day, as you can see. Here's another one of them. Second one of them I've had. I like these. I've got over 76. And now 199. I think it's 199. Ooh. Ah, I've got the other one on my key ring. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Oh well. Ah dear. Moving on. Ah. There you go. Fits rather nicely on my uh, my little um, multi tool. Hey. Oh, we can use everything. Look at that. Brilliant. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. 199. 200. Anybody have any idea what these are? Does anybody have an idea as to what this is? Nice impression there. It's just a cap. Rings up lovely, but uh, yes. I think it could be the remnants of the Great Mouse War. These, this has got to be some form of armour. Helmet, shield boss. Oh, be a bit big, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, just aluminium rubbish for me tin. Moving on. Well, there is round in the hole once more. Right there, you can see where it's slipped off its impression. I don't really can see that. Just there. There's the coin. There's its impression there. Don't worry, I was wearing, I was wearing gloves. Well, that feels nice. 
Mm, feels old though. Whoops! Oh, it wants to go back in the hole. Ooh. A little bit toasty that one. Well, I'll give it a scrub, see if I can get anything off it. Give us a sec. Now I'm pretty sure that that is a George II coin. So that would mean I have got George 1, 2 and 3 off this little path. Seventeen twenty-seven to seventeen sixty. Ooh, well, I'm uh, getting a bit of a spread here, aren't I? Nothing on the back, unfortunately. That's how I think. Well, most of my George things have been a bit rubbish like this. Yay, Georgius numberus tuicus. One, two, and three. Right, let's have a George the Fourth. Let's have a bullhead. Bit of bit of silver, shall we? Bit of nice stuff. Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, <clears throat> moving on. Ah. I think the spirits of the field are mocking me with their Lambert and Butler king size. Bloody hell. Hey, come on. Moving on. Uh, next signal, and it was a cracker, but you can see why. It's a ring. Is a, uh, is a fused uh, juice harp. Only joking, it's not a juice harp. Uh, yeah, that is a um, just a like a securing loop driven into wood and then you can tie things to it. Look, ooh, might tie up my mouse horse to this. Slightly big, really. Um, yeah, or it could be some form of mouse tool. No, it's not. It's just a bit of Boris, but uh, yeah, nice, interesting. Handmade bit of Boris, nice bit of age to it. Uh, yeah, moving on. Next signal out of this hole is this beautiful silver butterfly. Oh no, it's not. It's just some rubbish. Ah, my mistake. Oh well, moving on. Well, the next signal is not interesting. <laughs> it's just one of those. It's a connecting wire for something. No idea what. If you've any idea, keep it to yourself. I'm not bothered. Because it's just <laughs> rubbish. Beautiful signal though, rings up lovely. Oh well, it could be uh, the archway to uh, to an ancient mouse kingdom. Nah, not really. Just rubbish. Moving on. Could be nice. Could not be nice. Well, let's go closer and have a look. What does it look like now? Yeah, just a blank disc. If I flip it over, oh, and then drop it somewhere and lose it. It's a button, not just any button. That is a silver gilt button. Look at that beauty. No design on it. There might be, ooh, it's a bit crusty. It was, it, it, I found it in what was um, a hedge ditch. It's obviously now not a hedge ditch, it's in the middle of a field. There you go, look at that. Go away fly. Silver gilt button. Woohoo! Well, I like that. I might take a, uh, well, of course I'm going to take a picture of it, you fool. Anyway, moving on. Well, right next to that one, I got another one. Another button. Not as fancy this time. Uh, yeah, I think the, uh, if it ever was silver gill has come off, but yay, another button. I have to be careful with this. Still got the shank on it. Oh, that's a beauty. Quite heavy, that. Nice brass button. Smashing. And there's another signal just by it, so I think I'm going to have three in a row. Let's see. Moving on. Well, I was just cleaning the back of that, and I found that's a, a gold gilt button. Woohoo! What a day. What a day indeed. That's a beauty. I mean, it's nothing on the front, but I've explained why that is. They get worn off the front. But this faces the cloth, so it doesn't get worn off, so the gold stays longer. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Well, the next signal is a little bit interesting. I, found, I don't think I've found a, an actual bullet before, a round. Well, there you go, there's a 9mm um, pistol. Round, sorry, there we go, that's, that's better. I've scrubbed the side of it. It's a, um, it's reasonably modern because it's. Uh, Led with a copper jacket, or a full metal jacket as they call it in the film. There we go. 
Anyway, moving on. More round in the hole. Doo -doo, minding this spiky stuff because I ate it out. Oh God, push it further back in. Oh, it's about eight me size, I think. That's a different one. They aren't coming out great on this field, are they? But, I'll give it a quick scrub up and I'll let you know what it is if I do. Well, there she is sitting on her, uh, on a, on a bum. And there he is, George three. Hey, right. another 17th, 18th century coin. Ah, one of the George four. Men will up. Ah, well, there we go. It's a coin. I'll take that any day. Moving on. Well, that wasn't worth the effort. Let me tell you, another one of them. Oh dear. And it's the it's the tape you go for, and it rings up lovely. I hate them. Yeah. Sorry, Jim. These flies are loving my spade. I don't know why. Bugger off, it's mine. Little gits. Anyway, oh look. Another one. Bloody Nora. Why me? Must have been a terrible battle. Look at that helmet. Battered. Probably by that other thing I found. Oh dear, I, I do go on about the mice thing. Hey, it's trash. Moving on. The next single, which was about eight, nine inch down in that hole. Obviously, it wouldn't be in another hole, otherwise I'd show you that one. Is this. At first I thought, oh, musket ball. But then I realised, no, it's got a hole through it. So it could be... Mm, Musket ball made into a fishing weight, maybe. Or if you fishermen out there know, is it a net weight? It's got a little dimple there, look. Does that mean anything? I do not know. Oh well, interesting, and lead, and mine. Moving on, next signal is a bit of molten lead. There you go. Nothing special, or as we call it, rubbish. <laughs> oh well, another bit of lead for me bin. Sure, it might have a story behind it, but I don't know what it is. It could be a rough casting. Nah, just with lead. Anyway, moving on. And the next signal is just as weird as most of my other stuff I find. It was all scrunched up, so I've opened it up, emptied it of soil. Look at that. What is that? What is that? Any ideas? Answers on the postcard. Mm, or you could just stick it in the comments. If you like. And if you like, give us a like. Way! <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yeah, God knows. But um, yeah, they're in my alley scrap box. Yeah, dear. Ooh, ah, it's got to be some form of weapon of mass destruction. This is this probably ended the Great Mouse War. Do you think? No, not really. It's just aluminium scrap. But there you go. Moving on. Oh, good. Another of these to add to my collection of comedy finds. <sighs> no idea what it is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Not that it's very interesting, but there you go. It's a cap of some form. Moving on. Well, the next signals have been interesting. I think I've found a bit of this before, a smaller piece. I thought it was maybe a bit of a pipe. Looking at the inside of this, and well, at least it's a bit of large bore shell shrapnel. Or it's a piece of big, uh, large bore pipe. I don't know. Any thoughts? Shrapnel or pipe? Let me know in the comments if, you, if you're interested. <laughs> Does uh, feel well machined inside? I don't know. I'm thinking old pipe, but there you go. Who knows? Moving on. Ah, next signal, which rung up bloody lovely, as aluminium does, is this little clip, be a fence clip or something. Yes. Hooray. Or perhaps it's mouse binoculars without the lenses. <laughs> I've got to get out more. Anyway. <clears throat> There's a bit of nonsense for you, Amy. True nonsense and no mistake, my lady. 
Moving on. Next signal is one of these those crimp ball tops, but there's uh, nothing on it, I'm afraid. Bit of a shame. Oh well. Moving on. Well, that's it for me for today, or for this lunchtime, shall I say. Uh,